Keyboard Control. What this allows you to do is to change the timings of the keyboard and do other things. Right now it's defaulted to do a full keybinds check. Remember the warning here? That's where you can turn that on and off. You can also switch uh, to primary fire for your disco scanner. And here you can change the timing between key presses and pauses between uh, the opening and panels and that. If you want them to go really fast, you would lower these times. If you want it to slow down, you would increase these times. Now, you can get a little too crazy with these settings, and if Elite starts messing up badly, you would have to come back in here and reset these uh, back to uh, default, and then use more conservative numbers. Now, here is where you can set up your path for your missing binds, and here is where the profiles expecting to see the elite dangerous bindings for your keys. Now of course if you're not in a standard default uh, for elite you would want to change that depending on you know, how you have it set up. Reset will reset this tweak, cancel and apply, do what they normally do. So I'll go ahead and apply this. All right, first I'm going to use the default settings for the uh, GUI and key presses. Request docking. Requesting docking clearance. Uh, permission authorized. Proceed to landing pad one, two. Cancel docking. Can I lower the gear for you now? Canceled. Protocol override customize my settings. As you wish. I'm just randomly picking numbers to go a little bit faster. Again, you have to play with this to get what you think is better. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that and save my changes. Request docking. Request for docking sent. Uh, landing permission granted. Vectoring for approach to landing pad 3-4. Cancel docking. I can lower the gear for you now. Canceling docking request. So you see it was much faster uh, with the uh, settings that I put. So you can play with that to make it uh, go f even faster. And you can get it to a point where you don't even see the screen. It happens so fast that the command is sent before the screen it appears to be opening and closing. However, as I said, you can go too crazy with these settings and you will get weird results. So if that happens, all you have to do is go back in and reset your uh, keyboard controls again and reset the timings to a more conservative number. So now you should have enough information to use the keyboard control tweak. With it, you can change items of the voice pack pertaining to the keyboard. If you want more in-depth information on other tweaks, I have made more videos covering them separately. Please check them out. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe and share this channel. Thanks for watching and see you out in the virtual world.